Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I saw in the reviews for this PC here, the CyberPower PC Gamer Supreme, or the Supreme Gamer, I'm not really sure, um, that people were having issues with the uh, temperature of the CPU and uh, potentially the GPU, depending on which one you got. Um, so the main issue with this is, I think, the case, the design of it. Um, it really only has a few areas of exit because of the way that they set it up. So here, first off, um, the intake fans, which are these two, are blocked off for the most part, and they are blowing cool air from these two panels here, these two little slots. Um, and then you have the radiator for the CPU liquid cooling, um, and it's blowing a little bit of hot air out, kind of, but it's really blowing the hot air out of the liquid cool. So it's it's really just cool air is blowing in and then hot air is being created if you're playing a graphically intense game. Um, and then it has nowhere to really go. So my solution was I added three fans here um, that are exhaust fans. They're blowing fans, they're blowing air out. And an exhaust fan and an intake fan, all that really is is the direction. So the direction that you screw it in. I don't know um, exactly what everyone kind of looks a little bit different, but if you look up a picture, um, you'll be able to understand it. And I'm not going to go through all the wiring step-by-step -step tutorial, but I'm going to explain what I did and why I did it. So um, these three fans here are good because it's the same fan that comes here. Um, and what you can do, and what you need to do really, I bought these two things from Amazon, the three fans, these were cheap, they were RGB. It's not really a specific reason why I got these, I kind of just randomly picked them. Um, they were cheap, that's why I bought them. And then I bought this port. Um, and this port I bought because it looked nicer than the other ports and the reviews said that it was able to control the fan speed. Because the issue that I ran into after I initially connected these and you daisy chain them together and then it comes with this little three-way connector and I when I plug this three-way connector into the chassis uh, fan 2 port under the motherboard it's a little bit hard to see yeah you can see it a little bit up there chassis fan 2 it's only a three-prong connector whereas here it is a four-prong connector as you can see that little plug behind the radiator the chassis fan one port and initially what's plugged into that is these two fans and either this fan but i believe it's this fan so this fan and these two fans are connected uh, in a three-way connection and they're plugged into this cable and so what i did is i unplugged the chassis fan one port that's already plugged in when you first buy the computer. I unplugged it. I pulled it out through the back here and I fished it out. I plugged it into the port one of this. I took the cord that I initially had in the chassis fan two, which connects these three fans. And I plugged it into the second port of this. And I took the output and then I plugged that into chassis fan one. And doing so allowed me to control the speed of all of the fans simultaneously. And they all have about the same speed, I believe. These, this fan and these three, three fans are exactly the same. So they definitely have the same speed. But allowing you, or doing that allows you to control the speed, which is really nice because not doing that and having these three in chassis fan two, it really sounds loud. Um, and then another thing that I was able to do is I was able to take the RGB connection and here is the RGB um, hub. One of the cables was like loose. It had like a an end that you could connect a, another cable like a daisy chain. And I was able to daisy chain the RGB of these three into the port, which allows me to control all of the, the lights with this button. And further, you can take the output that's currently going to this light and you can actually plug that into the motherboard 
which allows you to control the lights with the motherboard and with software and stuff, which is pretty cool. But I just kept it with the button. Um, the button's good enough. It has enough options and stuff. And you don't have to mess around with the BIOS or do anything like that. You just click the button and it changes. But So that's what I did. Um, and I would recommend doing that definitely if you bought this computer. Uh, it runs pretty hot if you play a graphically intense game for a little while. And the side will start to feel very hot of this glass piece. Um, but really that's it. And you can apply this kind of knowledge to any uh, computer as long as you think about the principles, like if you look at your fans and you know that these are intake and you realize that there's a lot of hot air here, hot air rises, you take three exhaust fans and you have them blowing hot air out, it really makes a difference. My uh, temperatures changed by about 10, 10 degrees Celsius, which is a, a very big difference. I was hitting 90 when I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey for only about 30 minutes, but then, when I added these fans, I was able to play for hours and never pass 84, which is hot, but it's optimal, especially for a graphically intense game. Uh, so that's really it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. All right.